Technica, and today I want to talk to you about the QuietPoint ATH ANC 7B active noise canceling headphones. We're not only going to be talking about the features and the benefits of the headphones, but we're also going to be doing a demonstration that actually lets you hear how effective these noise canceling headphones are. Now, a common question that I get asked is what exactly is active noise canceling? And what's the difference between active noise canceling and somebody who says that they are uh, passive noise canceling or noise reduction headphones? So these are actually active noise canceling headphones and how that works is there are a microphone in each of these ear cups and that's sampling the ambient noise and by ambient noise I mean any noise that's happening around you and that could be airplane noise, it could be lawnmower noise, it could be bus noise, it could just be noise in the room like from a crowd. What these actually do is sample that noise and then the circuitry when you turn it on will actually send a wave that's 180 degrees out of phase of that noise and actively cancels that noise out. When other companies are talking about noise reduction or passive noise canceling, what they mean is simply what's naturally getting canceled. So if you were to just take your, your hands, for example, and just put them over your ears, you could hear a difference from what the sound is going on right now to what's going on when you put the hands over your ears. That's actually naturally or passively canceling out noise. Now let's just get to the demo because this is the most exciting point of it, that you need to experience exactly how noise canceling works and that's been very difficult up till now. And we've come up with a laboratory test that we've done that will actually simulate the experience of listening and how you would listen and how it would hear, you know, how it would sound to a person on the other side. So what we have over here is a simulated test head. This is something I like to call Seth. And uh, what Seth has is microphones embedded in the head, which will simulate the listening experience. We have this tethered into the camera and into the audio so that you can hear what he's hearing. And it's very much like what a, a real person would be hearing. Now what we also have is a speaker, and this speaker is emitting airplane noise. And what we've done is we've taken an SPL meter and we've set it to the FAA regulated standard that says this is the type of noise that you should be experiencing in flight at a cruising altitude. So what's going to happen is you're going to hear what the noise sounds like when you don't have the headphones on, 
and then you're going to hear what it's like to just be passively reducing the noise with the headphones on, and then you're going to hear the amazing thing that happens when you actually turn the active noise canceling on. Wasn't that an impressive demo? I hope that you hear exactly what other people are now hearing whenever they actually have the noise canceling headphones on. And I know that we had airplane noise going on, but these are not just for travelers anymore. This is for anyone, actually, who wants to get away from whatever environment they're in. This could mean that you're maybe a student in a student center and you're, you've got a lot of background noise and you need to concentrate. So these would be perfect for a dorm room or a student center type of application. Um, they could also be used when you're just at home. Maybe you want to relax in your backyard or you want to get a little bit of me time, you know, sitting on the couch and there's a little bit of background noise going on. This is just a great way for anyone to escape. Now, I can't talk about noise cancellation without also talking about the comfort because without that comfort factor and without it being able to be worn for a long period of time, um, you've pretty much got nothing. So what we've done is we've taken great pains to make sure that this is the most comfortable that it can be and that it's got long wearing capability. These headphones also have the amazing audio quality that Audio-Technica has been known for for about 50 years now. And what you're going to get with these is that you're going to experience wonderful clarity and true to life audio the way that it was meant to be heard. The wonderful thing about noise canceling headphones, and this might be really good for people out there who are also considering, considering buying them for their student, for example, is that you don't have to listen to music as loud with noise canceling headphones. And the reason for that is because typically what you're doing is you're turning up the volume on your music so that you can drown out all of that background noise. Well, the active noise canceling circuitry has already drowned out that noise for you. And now you can listen to your music in a very clear environment and a very clean environment and you can really hear the nuances of music. In total, what's great about this headphone is that it's 90% noise cancellation. It's very impressive as far as what's out there on the market for the price and it comes with all of these accessories. So I hope that you'll enjoy the quietness and the, the peacefulness that you get from these quiet point active noise canceling headphones. Hello. In this video, we'll show you how to connect your RS-185 to your TV. For connecting it to hi-fi equipment, the following steps may be similar though. The pack contains the transmitter, the headphones, the power supply, an optical cable, an RCA audio cable, and two AAA batteries. First, please be sure to charge the batteries. The rechargeable batteries are only at about 25% when you unpack them, so for a first test of your wireless system it may be sufficient. For the very first charge, however, it is important to charge them for 16 hours in order to calibrate both the technology and the batteries. All further full charges will only take about 8 hours each. Now, you can choose to connect your RS-185 over the optical or analog RCA audio port. Both cables are included in the pack. Let's assume you are connecting it to a TV with the optical cable. Plug in the power and the optical cable and make sure the switch is in the upper position. Now let's connect to the TV. Depending on brand and model, your television's connectivity panel could look like this, or this, or this. Pretty much always different, so let's take a closer look. This is an optical audio output. Connect the optical cable here, and you'll be done. Now, when you turn on your RS-185 at the headphones, the transmitter's status LED will light up green, provided it is receiving the right signal. 
Should the status LED at the transmitter start blinking, that's an error message. In this case, please look into your TV's audio settings for the optical output. You might have various options to choose from in there. Try setting your optical output to stereo or PCM if you find those in there. When the right audio signal is selected, the LED will permanently light up green and you're good to go. With the RS-185, you have up to 100 meters or 320 feet of range, depending on your environment. Should you leave the room where the transmitter is and you have, for example, a brick wall in between you and the transmitter, you may experience interference with your reception. Just be aware of this. If your TV doesn't have an optical audio output or it is in use for other equipment, you can also connect over the RCA audio cable. At the transmitter, put the switch in the lower position. On the back of your TV, look for red and white connections. But bear in mind, some might not work for you. In this picture, you can see it says component in, or here it says audio in. And sometimes there is a little symbol, a circle with an arrow going into it. You cannot use these for your wireless system. What your TV needs to have is a port that says audio or audio output, usually indicated with a circle with an arrow pointing out of it. That's the one. Connect your RS-185 here. Let's assume you've made all the necessary connections and settings. You can now turn the system on. Press the power button on the headphones for about two seconds. This turns on both the headphones and the transmitter. Thank you for watching.